Welcome back gamers, Lazy Gamer here. And let's play some more Fallout New Vegas modded, shall we? Right. So I have uh, done some mod configurations. Put something some stuff out in the wasteland and uh, that's about it really I guess you didn't need to see that so uh, let's go back inside and hope the game doesn't crash it shouldn't though I'm using the Almost afraid it would. Yeah, I'm using the four gig uh, thing. So, right, what do we have? Some stuff. We can sell some. heavy armor well hey, implant stand back what oh, oh, it's stealing so I guess I shall not steal from a doctor
if I can. Well, sure I can. But I thought I heard her. There you are. Just to start with. travel to right now but after a bit I will probably I will probably uh, miss that option so I might turn it back on but I am trying to follow in gophers footsteps and look around because if you fast travel all over, you will not notice stuff. And I am have no idea what I'm actually doing. Well, I do, but I'm not progressing any thing right now. I seem to have a new neighbor. neighbor. Edgecombe repairs. That is Dean. Welcome to Edgecombe Repair. I'm Dean. I do most of the repair work and Paul owns the place. I gotta go. See you around. Thanks. So where is Mr. Edgecombe? Be inside, I guess. There he is. Welcome to Edgecombe Repair. Need something fixed, you can see Dean. I can do some trading with you soon, but waiting for stock right now. Alright. Stay safe. Alright. No. Damn knees. Come. He's a friendly sort, isn't he? Right. Okay, let's go and... No, I can't raid anything. Alright, alright, let's go and talk to Sunny Smiles then. I guess she might have... Hey, what's this? Dog tags. think there is much but uh, they are for seams in uh, the neck area. Let's see. Well, it's, it's not the best and it clips a bit. But I have some extra carry weight. Which can come in handy. Nowhere is uh, Sunny. She's over here. I feel a little woozy. I got shot in the head, you know? Maybe she can help me. <laughs> it's 
It's uh, four in the morning. I really should go to bed. I, I just felt like playing a bit more, but I have have no plan at all, really. So I'll just do some standard stuff. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. That's good. So what do you do around here? I hunt geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. of income actually yeah Doc Mitchell said something yeah I guess there's a thing or two I could show you sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you meet me outside behind the saloon right I could just follow you though the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Sort of. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. I don't really want to use that though. Crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. I am. I'm totally off. Nick, well that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sad. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Alrighty. Follow me. Get me some. quite heavily right. hear that up on the ridge behind me there we got some geckos a bunch of little monsters is what they are seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything let's see if we can get a little closer if we move quietly we can get the jump on them more likely to hit something vital that way 
Okay, you're on. I, Go get the hell. All right. Let's see. Getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It... Sure, why not? Should I come with me? you done. I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. Feel thirsty. Thanks. I guess. I did you work for you, okay? Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land. And making useful things for yourself. Interested? Mm, yeah. Okay, say no more. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Sure. I'll do that. Irradiated stuff. It's a bit easier to find here. Other than um, in Fallout 3, you might say. per second right now. I am guessing that's not acceptable. Let's see how it looks when I edit the video, shall I? Let's go. 
and see this woman and then I will go and sell some stuff. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Right. What was that argument all about, eh? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. And where is he now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Right. Um, so what are you going to do, eh? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Right. All right. Alrighty then. Uh, what happens if I help him then? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Right. Mm, people who attack me. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. Where were they going then? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why's that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive. Which it could be, for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Right. I might do that at some point. <sighs> sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Be careful He's out there. He's an AI. Something, but uh, all right. That's her appearance. Feeling thirsty? I could... Mm, fixed radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Thanks. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? Do you have anything for sale? Got a special discount for you. Well, not so much selling as... Yes. Well, I can use with, him, with some water. I guess. That's...
worth that much, huh? Let's try and sell it somewhere else. Thanks. Be careful out there. I will. Try to, anyway. Mm. I'll talk to Sunny again. I'm going to go next door first. Oh, that rain is making me sleepy. Man. I do need to go to bed. So 
Visit the dock and then we'll say goodnight. Huh? Done quite a bit for a sleepwalking man.
Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Mm -hmm. Might need medical supplies, but I'm fine for now. <laughs> Sure, I can help you out. <laughs> it's, it's very easy to learn, isn't it? Let's see. What do I have anyway? Uh, but it is speech level. Not much, but better than nothing, I suppose. sleep in so uh <laughs> this was your host the lazy gamer logging off bye guys <laughs>